Yo, is the site cleaned up? Why do you ask dumb questions? People can see. The site's cleaned up. <laughs> What you want that's when you Alex says here Chris use my rod I tie great knots but when you set the hook into a small mouth a great knot is not supposed to break what you want though yeah that, that's what you want to be breaking off tube jigs into small mouth that's what we're out here for is that another jump no, no it's a small ultra finesse nut rig it's a giant. Actually, it's not that bad. One. All right, there's my first smallmouth of the day. Day three out here in northern Michigan. All right, I'm throwing the finesse Ned rig. This is a homemade half a four inch Sanko on a Kitech jig head Ned rig. Let's see if I can catch some more on this. Caught this nice smallmouth on this little tube. That's a dink. It is a dink. But we should get bigger. Man, that was so enthusiastic. Hey guys, I I'm sorry. That, I, I want to catch a six pounder. On, caught that one on a tube. Why do I have to? Okay, come over here. Okay. Okay. Okay, he's got a small mouth. He For the record, he caught it on a tube. I'm catching these small mouth. He caught it on a tube. This is what a tube looks like. <laughs> on he's a tube. throwing it with, on a tube jig head with a pound test to a leader. He's using my rod because he doesn't know how to fish. Yeah, that's why. And um, he's out fishing me right now. Okay. This trip is we don't we don't we don't have that much time we got three days and so many lakes to cover so we caught some fish there early in the morning we needed some wind to get those bigger fish to go so now we're gonna go check the spot we fished on day one see if there's any big females around in those shallow waters that we fished and hopefully we'll get some big fish that's what we kind of I want to get one over five I've caught one that was four and a half he caught one that was over five but our true quest is to get a true six pounder, which I don't know if that's gonna happen, but we're gonna go give it a try at this last lake and then head back back home, which is kinda sad because this is an awesome fishery, but still had a blast these past couple days. Are you ready? Okay, we finally have mastered the flogging technique out here in these like 20 mile an hour gusts. At the expense of my sweatshirt. At the expense of him going soaked. But that one, that's a freaking giant male. Okay, we're gonna get him unhooked and get him back on the bed. Fish isn't that. Calm it down, bud. It's okay. just a male. You calm it down. Is it back? Yeah. Why are you moving the line? Oh my god, he's back, he's huge. Oh my god, he's got it, he's got it! Dude, I literally <laughs> just grabbed the rod. Oh my god, it's a toad. It's a toad. It's a toad. Is this a new one? I don't know what happened. He came out of nowhere. I was lying when he said he was going back and then he actually did. Dude, I literally just grabbed the rod and pulled back. Land it. Land it. Land it. I, that was intense. 
That fish came out of nowhere off that bed and ate that Senko. That's a big one. Yeah. Oh my god. That was all thanks to this thing. Freaking flogging up over here. Yeah, flogging take up a picture giants. With this fish in the flogger. That was intense. That was flogging up to a stream. It wasn't recording. All right, end of the Michigan trip here. We've got six hours in the car. I'm gonna get going. Had an unbelievable time up here over the last three days. Caught a bunch on drop shots, Ned rigs, Bama rigs, swim baits, a whole bunch of things. Can't wait to come back. We'll see you guys next time on AP Bassin. Oh.